this new video about the tips and tricks for internet safety. Before I tell you some tips and tricks about internet safety, first we have to know what internet safety is. Simple terms, online safety refers to the act of staying safe online. It is also commonly known as internet safety, e-safety, and cyber safety. Being safe online means individuals are protecting themselves and others from online risk and harms which may jeopardize their personal information. We also have to learn about one more important aspect about internet safety, internet privacy. Internet privacy is the level of privacy protection an individual has while connected to the internet. It covers the amount of online security available for personal and financial data, communications, and preferences. And now for the tips and tricks. Computer tips. Pay attention to software updates. Software updates are an elevated version of the application, operating system, or software that you currently have. So it's very important to install them whenever you have the time. You can also set up automatic updates on your devices so that you can never miss one. Safety online. This tip is optional because most people don't have enough money to afford one. So you can decide whether you want to purchase one or not. To make sure your internet connection is secure, Use a secure VPN connection. A VPN is a service that both encrypts your data and hides your IP address by bouncing your network activity through a secure chain to another server miles away. This obscures your online identity even on public Wi-Fi networks. You can browse the internet safely, securely, and anonymously. Choose strong passwords. Passwords are one of the biggest weak spots in the whole internet security structure and there are currently ways around them. The problem with passwords is that people tend to choose easy ones to remember, such as password and 123456, which are also easy for cyber teams to guess. Select strong passwords that are harder for cyber criminals to identify. Passwords manager software can help you manage multiple passwords so that you don't forget them. Try having your passwords be something you like, like a favorite video game character, movie, or TV show. It can be anything you want, just make sure it's memorable to you. Now that you have your password, let's now try and make it into a strong password. What's a strong password, you may ask? Well, a strong password is unique and complex. At least 12 characters long, mixing letters, numbers, and special characters. My pretend password is going to be the name of my favorite anime character Kobayashi-san. Here's an example. As you can see, it has all the requirements of being a strong password. The uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Quick tip! Try changing one of the characters to make different passwords. For example, change the zero back to an O. Or try changing one of the A's in Kobayashi-san to an at sign. I would also suggest adding an exclamation mark if you're missing characters. Going on online websites. Check out website's reliability. As of January 17, 2021, Google has registered more than 2 million phishing sites. But how can you tell a reliable site from a fishy one? First, look at the address line. It should have a little padlock at the beginning. This means the connection is encrypted. Second, review the look and feel of a website. Here are some criteria to indicate if a website is safe to use. Pages look neat and are free from mistakes. Grammar in the body text and address line is consistent. All images fit in the screen's width correctly. Ads feel organic and don't obscure from the main content. If the website meets all these criteria, then it's likely safe to be used. Social media tips. Keep your social media account secure. If you don't use an old account for a while, and that old account has some old info about you that you don't want to be resurfaced, just delete that old account so cyber snoops and identity thieves don't try and hack your account. 2FA or two-factor authentication is an extra layer of security used to make sure that people trying to gain access to an online account are who they say they are. First, a user will enter their username and password, then instead of immediately gaining access, they will be required to provide another piece of information. 
the social media platforms that have 2FA are Facebook, Google, Instagram, PayPal, Snapchat, Twitter, and WhatsApp. Be careful of what you post because remember there will not always be a delete key on the post. Always think before you post because it can be used against you in the future. Remember that the internet is a public place. You should be careful before inputting your personal information on the internet. Don't put your birthday, address, personal contact number, and other important info that shouldn't be shared with others. Always make sure to keep personal information professional and limited on the internet. Online shopping tips These days, people tend to go online shopping rather than to go physically shopping. Online shopping is more convenient than going physically shopping. You just need to make an account, put in your credit card info, and there, you're just one click away from buying a product online. An important note to add while going online shopping is that to make online purchases from secure sites and to avoid suspicious deals when you see them. Anytime you make a purchase online, you need to provide credit card or bank account information, just what cyber criminals are most eager to get their hands on. Only supply this information to sites that provide the secure and encrypted connections. You can identify secure sites by looking at the address that starts with an HTTPS. The S stands for secure, rather than simply HTTP. They may also be marked by a padlock icon next to the address bar. To avoid getting scammed online, make sure you should buy from a trusted seller. You have to always check the seller's reviews and in my opinion, the ratings must be 4.7 or higher to buy a product from them. Watch out for too good to be true scams. If you're shopping online and find out one specific item for a price that seems too good to be true, the chances are that it's a scam. So always check if the seller's shop has trusted customers, high ratings, and well-valued products. Those are all the tips and tricks 